Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Soul Nation. You're a magnificent beast, and that's what you get for subscribing, by the way. A random compliment at the start of videos. Today we're diving into information you need to know about the upcoming closed beta test for the global servers. Let's go ahead and dive into the article, but if you just need the information because you got something to do and you don't have time to watch the rest of this video, May 14th, you can actually register for the uh, beta essentially on the 21st of April. So that's coming up. Keep it locked here for more information about uh, the beta itself. Next week, actually, there's going to be doing a prologue three. We'll be sure to cover it as well. So lots of stuff coming up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more information as we roll forward into New Genesis. Let's dive into this article. It's going to give us some de uh, extra detail. And then I want to share additional thoughts, especially as it relates on uh, the state of Fantasy Star Online 2 and whether you should start today, whether you should return today. Um, but obviously, I think you definitely need to be keeping New Genesis on your radar for later this year. Okay, so it says, Get ready, Arcs, so you're close to embarking into a new era of PSO2. The global closed beta test of New Genesis starts May 14th. Now, you're going to experience the vast open world of NGS set a thousand years after PSO2. And for the first time as a PSO2 global player, during this testing period, we'll also collect your valuable opinions and feedback to make sure that the game is the best experience it can be. And we're looking forward to your applications. So it runs from the 14th through the 16th of May. This is going to be 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, that's American Central Standard Time. So from the 14th at 8, I, <laughs> that might sound confusing, to the 16th at 9 p.m. So you got a good chunk of time to play. This is going to be only for Windows 10 PCs, and it's going to be done through the Windows Store app. So that's how it's going to be downloaded. That's how it's going to be played. And those are the time uh, ranges. You're going to be able to start registering on 421 via the Xbox Insider Hub app. So keep in mind, if you don't have that installed, be sure to go install the Xbox Insider Hub app. And then that way you can be ready to register. Uh, Xbox players should feel very home at this. This is typically how you register for different closed betas. Same thing with Windows, but I'll leave it at that. Now this beta period is going to have a limited number of applicants who can register for the first time on a first serve basis. So you make sure you sign up quickly once the registration starts. Those who join and play the NGS Global CBT will receive a participation reward to be revealed at a later date. We'd like to thank you for your tremendous support of Fantasy Star Online 2 Global since its 2020 launch, and we can't wait for you to experience what's in store for 2021 and beyond with new Genesis. So from here, just like I said at the beginning of this video, next week they're going to have the Prologue 3 episode where we're going to get more information about new Genesis, and I'm betting that's when they're also going to have that to reiterate the fact that the closed beta dates are happening and it's honestly not that far away we're talking about at the time of this recording one month from now so we can pull the trigger and go forward and have fun i personally am very excited about it and that brings me kind of to a little bit of a topic that i uh, have been asked multiple times brian should i start fantasy star online 2 now should i return to fantasy star online 2 now am i still brian are you still playing fantasy star online 2 and so uh, the answer is yes. I would actually recommend starting if you have a love of Fantasy Star uh, and and or returning. It's a really good game to play. They've added a lot of content since its launch last year. They fixed a lot of issues since its launch last year. Why would you want to play now? Well, you're going to get your Star Gems, which will carry over into the new game. Your Masetta won't, but your Glamour will, your Fashion will. Uh, those will carry back and forward. Your Levels won't. One of the reasons why... Uh, I ended up stepping away from the game for a nice little break. Well, I was being <laughs> swamped with things that I wanted to do in Final Fantasy. But also, once they said that my levels really don't carry forward and that New Genesis is a brand new starting period, honestly, it was very freeing. Now, am I still playing? Yes, actually, I've been playing on my Xbox Series X in this case here occasionally. Not every day kind of thing. It's just something that I like to pop into. And I'm personally very excited about the new Genesis release because I can't wait for more people to go hands on with it. Um, but I'm not playing this, I guess, a be all end all one type of game that I like to play. Other games have come out that I'm enjoying. Final Fantasy just had its latest update. Outriders just launched. I'm playing through that. And I'm testing out a couple early access games for the channel here as well. But that doesn't mean that you should, this should prevent you from diving in. I think if nothing else, you should definitely either keep it locked to the channel or other content creators channel regarding new Genesis. And you should try signing up for the closed beta and see if you can't experience it hands-on for yourself in May. Uh, it feels like we're getting closer and closer and closer to a release. Now, I don't know if that's going to be June or July 
or August, but I feel like this is going to be something that's really targeting later this year for more information. And it's going to be a lot of fun to see what they can do and where this game's going to go over the next some odd 10 years. I think they're setting up a really good foundation for the future of this game. So um, just the simple fact that uh, you can transfer between the games themselves, it's all running in a new engine, makes me wonder if this is going to be the new gold standard for how games as a service games evolve over time, rather than sit here and do a Destiny just deleting content, rather than, uh, you know, sitting here and saying, hey, it's a whole new game completely separate from this one. They're just saying, hey, what happens if the world continues and the story continues? But we can do a massive time jump that it explains how things are different, gives us new mysteries, new levels to grind. And at the same time, if we want to bounce back into the old game, we don't have to migrate whole communities from one place to another. And speaking of migration communities, that's, I think, one of the things we've seen with the Final Fantasy 11 and 14, what we've seen with, you know, WoW kind of having to reinvent itself time and time again. What we've seen with Destiny going from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2, and then Destiny 2 deleting a lot of stuff and going to uh, their 3.0 kind of thing. It's that um, it's difficult to move a wide range of gamers from one game to the next, and you end up finding that you have to end up supporting two whole separate games. And so I think this is going to be interesting because if successful, New Genesis could redefine how games as a service are managed and handled, especially as they continue to run uh, long and they continue to have a community around them, you know? And so I, I'm personally very excited to dive back into Fantasy Star New, uh, New Genesis in this case. And hopefully you'll be, uh, hopefully I'll get in. We can stream some, we can talk about it. We hopefully we can play together and we can talk about it more on the podcast. Uh, so be sure to keep it locked here to the channel. That's going to be it for me, guys. Again, links in the description for you. Hopefully this is a bit of exciting news uh, to talk about the Fantasy Star Online 2 today. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you guys and uh, hopefully you'll have a great one. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.